And he really unknowing about the variety of things. So it is basically a cluster uh, with the bee. So we'll have fun. Mm -hmm. And the DEP has uh, set this up based on using shipping containers versus rollout oh. containers. And so there's walking, not throwing. Right? Uh, I, I told the guy, I said, we don't deal with shipping containers. We don't have a top lift. We don't, you know, we can't. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> After 7 o'clock, so we will open tonight's meeting for the Berlin Board of Health. Um, August 16th. Um, Phil, I'll let you take the lead unless we have somebody, you know, walking. Respecting somebody, but they're not here yet, so. Yep, we, we, the only thing we have is 730. So right. We can take um, anyone in the audience who will be here first. Kate. Yeah. Hey. Okay. I think so. Hi. Um. <laughs> I have an application to transfer the current owner at 3901 to the current owner at 3901. And hopefully, it's going to find its way out to the house. The two-year window of the upgrade is, um, is August 17th, 2022, which is tomorrow. So obviously, Kate, you know, bought the property, and you know, we had to ask the board for more time because we don't have property taking the issue and the property. Tonight, um, the permit will be transferred to her name, and also the board will discuss um, the potential deadline for installation of Kate has any proposal for the board. There's also. We can come up to you. Um, yeah. They're talking to Ross about these yeah. 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 The president approval has changed. We don't need to five foot strip any longer. So, you know, of course, we have that we need to say that full time. So, um, you know, that, that's how it's going to take time to be redesigned, be reviewed. I'm not sure. Steve and I have been playing phone tag as we speak. Um, I'm waiting for that to pull thought maybe revision in the next month. Um, but I don't know if it's proposed yet. So, but he was well aware of the new um, specifications and did advise that it would make sense to redraw that and lay that out. Basically the same, but yeah, just, um, up to me. Right. I mean not not that technical question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was designed yeah, yeah, exactly. the Presby with a four foot offset, so I think they probably remove the five foot strip and go to three foot offset, which has been approved by the board. Mm -hmm. That's another place we can so that would definitely Okay. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. No. Uh, how would that be? Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to revise terms. Right. So we, we don't know so what I'm asking. Yeah. And then I'm going to take more into winter. Um, I would hope to do it this time, well, in the spring next year, is my, what I To have a new system installed? Yeah, to get that process um, completed. Well, I can, you can't do it in winter, or? No, no you don't want to do it in the weather and climate, <laughs> but it's a dice I mean, ball. weather, weather yeah. depending, you know, in the next year's time would be my idea. Yeah. The, the, board, the board isn't going to give you a February deadline because yeah. you know that's problematic and stupid. So, <laughs> Thank uh, you. Um, and you know better than I, so that's just my general... Um, well, for, for my opinion, relative to the rest of the board, I would say we could uh, allow for one year, but that would be the system in place by a year from now. I would like Noon. it in for not this winter, but the next winter, all said and done, so, right. you know, fall, if any problems come up or whatever, is still available. Uh, how many people currently in the house? My daughter and I, and two downstairs. Okay. And we're probably in there. So, That's what they um, want to say. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
is true. Um, it is a six bedroom, but is it? Okay. Um, yeah. one of the bedrooms is actually in exterior access, so I'm not sure. Okay. Um, there are actually only four of us. What do you pass with? Six. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, should Any we... other comments from the board or Bill? Uh, I mean, this is relative to that. granting one year. So, oh, it seems reasonable to give her time to get the redesign approved and again get the She needs the plans, right? They have to be engineered, they have to be approved, and to get construction time. Um, right. I need to quote it. I will make a motion to extend the tr permit transfer and extend the uh, septic design and installation for a year. I'll forward it. Go ahead. Second it. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Say aye. Aye. Bob? Aye. All same here. So next August 16th. So we expect you to have a working system. Yep, the so next meeting I'll actually have a, a permit with Kate's name on it and then the expiration date. Okay. And then the redesign, depending on when that comes in, either be incorporated into this to get a vitamin or, you know, just You'll have that, you said, next meeting, so two weeks. Okay. That's right. You can stop planning it, whatever you want. You know, <laughs> honestly. Although we have to talk about the meeting on the 6th. Well, that's going to be Zoom anyway. So. You can have them start engineering. Right? Oh, the engineering. Yeah, well, obviously you need to propose it first. But I don't know why yeah. that would no. make sense. But, yeah. yeah. So. Don't worry about holding up and everything. Just keep it moving. I, I have been trying to. Yeah. What's the, what's the address? What number? 39. 39. 39. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. okay, next is the beaver trapping permit. Bill? Yeah, that, that was just an FYI to the board. It's done. Uh, okay. It's been issued. The, unfortunately, I don't know if you noticed, I just got it today. The one I emailed you originally was for the town of Northboro. Oh, really? <laughs> the trapper they got it. mistakenly submitted two applications to me in one email and yeah. I like the format of the Northboro permit so I, I grabbed it, signed it, and mailed it off. They didn't even notice. So, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so I called them today and said, I just noticed and I just emailed them the correct one in, in ICC. I like yeah. the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, I got those. <laughs> I saw them last week and then I'm like, I didn't know if anybody came in. Oh, thank you. Oh, so that's taken care of. Okay. Title five. Inspection report. Eighty-five Summer Street. Yeah, yeah, it's actually eight summer. That was my nice. nice. so eight summer. Oh, oh, eighty-five. That's one. Yeah. Sixty-four Highland Street. It's eight summer. No. Um, oh, yeah, the so, one on the corner. Yeah, yeah 54 Highland is actually the Highland Ridge complex. Oh, okay. Because the reach field went in so long ago, the certificate of compliance for it had expired. So they had to do a title file for their closing. <laughs> That's really? That's how they used to um, 35 Ball Hill at the time. And 24 Allen Road. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now we can get into the discussion. Wonderful. Yeah, so again, um, I don't think it's 730. Yeah, so we can jump to um, Jack, it's just the West Street, since it's here, or we can have a little close portion here, if we can head up to the board of the project. Well, Jack, Jack's here, let's go. Yeah. Well, your plans. Well, yeah, so it was the curb was doing what was proposed. Uh, okay, let's uh, do a quick little rehash here of what we had. So, uh, Mark is in the audience here, too. Yep. So, you can come up if you want, Mark. So, might be safer back there. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sue's in a good mood, remember. <laughs> 
Can we so go far. Mark Adams, yeah, just yes. for the, the yes. minutes. Yep. Okay. So if you remember, we were here. It was back in June, and uh, we proposed the system had pre-treatment and zone one issues. Uh, the board suggested that we go to peer review, part of the regulations, which we did. We ended up getting a 3 page review, a lot of little housekeeping things. Mm -hmm. um, so we took care of all that, and we put the plan up to bid with the intention of coming here in July. Um, the way the meeting was scheduled, I thought it was Tuesday, and it ended up Thursday, it was on vacation. Then you had to sit down and catch your cut. I did. So, uh, so I submitted a letter at the last meeting saying that we put it out to bid to several contractors. Uh, one of the bigger known companies in the area actually dropped out of the bidding because of the size of the tanks that had to go in um, and the complexity of this. It was just above their scope. Uh, we had another uh, company out of air come in and bid it. Uh, they're actually putting in one of these tanks right now up in Acton for one of the uh, apartment complex. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, he's very familiar with this. Prices that were coming back in Marco Pay are between four and five hundred thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars. So, knowing what the area is, these are significant holes that have to go in just to get the tanks in there. Uh, never mind, you know, we're using pretty much. 90% of the area that's here outside of the building for this. So with that, when those prices came back and then they started talking about shoring up the building because we're going to be that close to it, those numbers were just astronomical. So we came back with the letter saying, why can't we use this like that? It's going to be more economical. It's going to be less disturbance. Uh, we can push the tank outside the zone one, get everything out there, and, and be done with it. And you do a lot of pumping for four or five hundred thousand dollars. Correct. So, Mark came to the last meeting, submitted that letter, thank you, Bill, mm -hmm. and we came back with this tight tank um, design. So, basically, two tanks. Still have the, the grease tank. The grease yeah. tank? Okay. Yep. Still have the grease tank. Is that 3,500 gallons? Correct. So, that hasn't changed. The location of that hasn't changed. Sure. Plumbing comes out the back, so the kitchen comes out this way. The rest of the sanitary waste comes out here. Uh, when that water, the effluent from the, the grease cut comes out, we'll tie it in with a Y and clean out back at this point. We'll have another, uh, we call it a manhole. I guess we could use mini manholes in here. This could be just small manholes that we can get up for access. And, yeah. and so there's plenty of room for them to come in the pump, right? Yeah, so this would be, this would be, um, the grease tank, oh. the septic tank right now, Bobby, is out in here anyway. Yeah. You know, we yeah. feel yeah. somewhere yeah. over here. So yes. they have plenty of room to, to, to get in or even park over here Perfect. and bring a hose over. This line would come down this way, come across the front, and then we'd put the 12,000 gallon uh, H20 tank, yeah, H20 loading out here put in this area here. The um, easy to pump there. Here's your zone one of 130 feet. You know, we just have some piping going through here, but that's all going to be watertight. We have the water line that's not going to be crammed between components of the septic system, the yeah. treatment tanks, and the, the pump chamber and stuff. We, uh, we will either sleeve this line, or we will double sleeve. Or uh, so, if that's a four-inch line, we'll put a six or an eight-inch line around that through a line yeah. going ten feet either way. Whatever is going to be the easiest, and assuming it's going to be easy to sleeve, the sewer line versus the water line. Uh, and again. They actually tank. get you further from the zone well well. Uh, gets uh, further away from perfect. that. We're yeah. 101 feet away from the system that's across the street. Their well radius is here. Mm -hmm. There's nothing over here. We are within 200 feet of the yeah. Uh, yeah. the river. That's really here. not a big right. deal. Yep. But the amount of earthwork that's going to be happening now here is minimal compared to what was going on. Certainly. Out. So um, we did is, have it, is that because you just digging that one big hole to the 12,000 gallon yeah. tank plus We're digging the one two holes the plus a trench. Right, plus a trench. So, right. Okay. Yep. How big is that tank? I didn't get that. 12,000. Wow. 12,000. Oh, Jesus. Hard to estimate. It's five, no, I just... It's five times the... 20, the yeah. Well, it sure is. Yep. To title five. Bigger than I thought. The alarm <laughs> set for three-fifths, which is about 7,200 gallons. And, uh, you know, off we go from there. So the only thing that we would need from Mark, um, which would be uh, some sort of a contract from a pumper, 
uh, whoever you use to pump the system now or whoever is on there or whoever you want to use. Sure. The board may just need a letter. You know, basically what happens is is um, they'll go out for the first few months and see what how fast that fills up, and then they'll they'll set up. A is there any, is there any way of putting a gauge or an alarm or anything on the pipe tank? There will be. There, there already is. There already at three is. at three fifths, there's an audio and visual alarm that will go off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but what happens? What technically should happen? And Bill can correct me if I'm wrong. Whoever Mark hires for a pumper to come in there should kind of keep an eye on the frequency so this way they can dial it in and say, okay, so every five weeks or six weeks or whatever it may be, depending on how much water they use, um, you know, they can just gauge that and just show up automatically before that alarm goes off. You got to make it easy on everybody. Sure. Right. Yeah. I think we want to receive some sort of report or record uh, at least initially, I don't know, for two or three years on the frequency, yep. just, you know, well, alarms are required. Great. The, the code actually requires all pump-ups to be recorded. Board it, okay. okay. Yeah. Board, right. But on a tightening specifically, uh, it does pump up. Oh, like okay. Most callers okay. that pump, say, with the tanks, they just order to be but, you know, with a tight tank, you know, maybe most of them, they just automatically pump. Right. I mean, alarms are great, but it's nice to have the, the hard data. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nope, that's fine. Yeah. I don't think there's any issue with that. No. Shouldn't be. I mean, it's just yeah. a little bit of paperwork with the pumper. Yeah. Uh, sounds good to me, Paul. Bill, you got any thoughts just, from past experience? Well, I, I think in this site it would make sense. Again, if you take down to last and do it, and uh, based on that cost and installation, it's not a viable option. But again, steps of approval, the proposed tight tank will draft a letter because the board's written approval of the tight tank has to be recorded and do the property before we issue oh, okay. okay. So that would be the next step. Okay. Uh, in, in regards to a letter, um, the Conservation Commission is also looking for a letter from the board okay. approving this plan because then they want me to just stop that. Um, and get on the next agenda. Well, that could be better. <laughs> Once I have that, just to show them, I wanted. I tried to get in there prior to this hearing, mm -hmm. and uh, who's the chairman? Carolyn. Carolyn. Yeah, I think Carolyn. said, "Yeah, you better wait until the board helps with this to make sure." She said, "It shouldn't be a big deal. No. We want to see it go. Just come in and explain it." But she said, "It sounds like a better deal anyway." Less of disruption in the. Yeah. Say, and, uh, well, yeah. environmentally, over the long run, considering it's a postage stamp property, even with the adjoining uh, Catalonia's property, yeah. it probably is the best solution. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but it, the unfortunate part is we had to go through that whole exercise to start. Unfortunately, because, uh, yeah. that's the way the rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to they want to see us exhaust that. Yes, and yeah. then come up with a reason why we can't do that. So, Bill, well, you can. Minutes, should we vote on that? There are, yeah. there are, yeah. there are, there are um, some variances. Oh, uh, just, let's speak about them now, then. Just, okay. Just so they're in the minutes. Uh, local variances, 3 uh, N reserve area. Reserve area to be uh, at least equal capacity as a primary. We have no reserve area. No. Um, uh, 4B deep test holes. Um, I don't know, the wrong section, but the reduction of the system location set back from water supply line 10 feet. We're crossing, which is allowed, but we're just going to sleep one of those yep. mm -hmm. 10 feet either side. Uh, local <coughs> upgrade approvals 15405 1G, uh, and again, that has to do with the water line crossing. Mm -hmm. So, all but two are moved. <laughs> okay. I make a motion to approve the requested uh, or proposed pipe tank for 263 West Street. I'll second it. Okay. We'll do a vote. Bobby? Aye. Two? Aye. Paul? Aye as well. So we can start to move forward with this project. Yeah. Um, 
I know Bill's probably going to want to write it, but I'll assume before I can get that letter to get the conservation. <laughs> Even if that's not a problem, but it's soon as possible. Well, when when the next? Oh, when's the next? I don't know off yet. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to get right on because I know you want to get it recorded, and then we can get the permit. You can get both of those recorded and uh, get the letter. Donna, you're going to be in the office on Friday, right? Bill, if you leave something, maybe Donna could oh, yeah. something well, up. Oh, yeah. kind of time I have now Friday, but it will I have a question that may not be pertinent, and uh, it may be infringing on privacy, but I'm just curious, um, with the tight tank and the required pumping, is that going to be the responsibility of the... Uh, person who's leasing the property or the people that are going to be renting and using the property? Uh, or is that to be worked out? It's to be worked out, but I think initially I'm going to control yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. It'll probably be on the owner of the staff. Yeah, and then transfer it over. Transfer it over. Okay. Get the bugs out if there are any. Yeah. And keep it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bill? Yeah. Um, 12 Colson Road. Yeah, that was a, um, just something the building inspector brought up. They will be coming to us at some point. Um, it appears they've, uh, I think they're selling the house and the bank is looking at the store. Work done versus permit issues. And the yeah. that there was a room added. Yeah. Um, so so I think you know, the building inspector can require a building permit to throw it to us and that's okay. going to trigger. It appears the addition room is probably count. too close to the existing septic tank, and we're going to have to do a room count and see if the um, heat restriction is needed. Yes. In is an ejector pump in the basement, and okay. there's not a 1,500 gallon tank there, so there might be a uh, tank up there if they want to maintain that. So what, what, is, what happens when the septic tank is too close to the house? They can pursue a variance, or if they can upgrade the tank, Put the new tank in the location. A little, a little further back. Yep. If that works. Again, we just don't know that information yet. This addition was put on without permits and it's just been recently discovered or fairly recently discovered. And, I uh, you know, it, my understanding is the whatever is built needs to be gutted so that wiring can be inspected, plumbing can be inspected. Oh, wow. It's a new deal. Basically, yep. they can probably save the framework and the siding, but um, okay. and then they're going to have to make uh, the changes that Bill was just talking about, possible relocation and upgrade of things and so okay. forth. That was we've a, never had one. Uh, no, Nine no, no, years no, that I've is, been on the uh, board. This well, you were up, that was a town-sponsored affordable housing project. Was it? Colson Road, yes. It was under Farmers Road. Really, were you around there? And that was put in, yeah. yeah, and they were bought it. Uh, uh, below market rate, you know, uh, of whatever for affordable. And a lot of townspeople were able to get in. And then, of course, I don't know if the, how it changed, but yeah, that was a town-sponsored and town-initiated. Well, whoever, whoever owned it decided to put on an addition. Uh, yeah, had okay. an existing deck. Yep. And a buddy of his said, well, you've got something existing. So Close your head. Just go ahead and build it. Yeah. Um, True. Not yeah. the case. We see that a lot. Yeah. Okay. So that's a dumb job. Colvin Road. Status. Uh, did you? Okay. I, did you speak with him, Paul? I did. Okay, good. Yeah. Recently? As recently as today. Oh, good. Very good. Oh, well. <laughs> what do you want to see? This is, I believe, the first um, written sort of report we have mm -hmm. from them relative to what's going on. And I would, uh, Vaughn's son, Corey, is now involved, and in, um, I've met with him a couple times, and I would say that's a good thing, because Corey's going to take care of well, apparently, he, he would deal more with paperwork and technology, you yep. know, technicalities. And he was the one who, uh, when I spoke with him last, he said, well, how about if I give you a written summary? I said, that would be most helpful. So, 
What we kind of looking for? Very good. Donna, you have a coffee? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't Would make you give this to Donna? How could I that's, not do that? That's okay. I already read it. Wow. So Sue that's... can slap me later, Donna. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's good. You got some more. That's good. Yeah, so it's good to have him ready. Okay. Donna, you can keep that. Okay. So, Bill, should I um, um, give the select board a copy of this? Yeah, absolutely. I would um, actually. You check mine or whatever. Yeah. Whoever we sent our original report to, we should get a copy of it. I can email one to Michelle. Okay. Today. Yeah, it was Michelle or Demar or yeah. whatever her name is. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to forward it to Michelle, but I can do it to Michelle. And then if if you could do that. And then we can just fix these seats in the box. Yeah. For the, for the other okay, seats. for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. That would be I can do that because I have I have a bunch of CCs for the uh, chicken letter on Pleasant Street. So I can simply Are you them. able to scan and email? Oh, them? yeah. Okay. This is the one office on how to do that. And so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a wicked issue with trying to very put simple. excellent. All right. <laughs> <Pretty good. laughs> Anything off my computer. Off the it, mine won't recognize my person anymore. It's a pain in the neck. Oh, great. Thank you. I'll do that tonight. Well, right. I'll stick them in those two. Oh, there's so much to do that for. I lost my head. Okay, it is 7.30. Yes, so based on that meeting on July 19th, uh, that I was unable to attend the uh, the board had uh, extended or continued that uh, condemnation hearing until tonight. Unfortunately, um, due to some staffing issues, I was not able to get that notice out in a timely fashion. So I didn't think sending it out with a week's notice would be fair to the owner. So I would uh, ask the board to actually bump it out to the second meeting in September if you're going to have a quorum. And I will get that notice out this week. You know, have it drafted and I'll do the Paul's signature. Okay. Sounds good to me. Paul? That was the uh, second meeting in September would be the 20th, 20th. I believe. Yeah. September 20th. And copies of that would go to the police chief, COA. Everybody on that initial On the initial list, list. okay. Will I get one? Yes. I'll probably get one more. Yeah, Chief Police, Building Inspector, Victoria, COA, Board of Selection, and Housing Administrator. We also included um, Attorney uh, Brennan. Oh, right. And uh, Agent Services with Central Maps. Basically, anyone that's been involved with that site. Okay. Yeah. I think we need to continue that, obviously. Yes, and, and if that um, does not provide change, I think the last result would be housing court. So once any kind of administrative starts and gets settled, we can talk to her about town council. We can dial her up. And, uh, yeah, because yeah. with the housing court, um, you know, it seems like they want representation. We used to be able to file ourselves agents on the Board of Health Chairman to just get on the list of file. The last time I was there, they said they wanted representation. I don't know if that policy is Oh, really? Things, okay. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate because it was several of my time or the board chair's time, but you know, now if they want representation, it's going to cost. So that's a decision that I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So we'll close that out for now. That doesn't. Well, we'll get a notice out. draft for yeah. uh, September 20th at 7 30. Okay. So that, that meeting again, I would assume, would be. 
discussion first. Is that all in discussion tonight, right? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, and I think the rest of the floor is yours. Um, I believe oh. it is. Bill? Yeah, I've got two quick topics that um, I guess ADA Pleasant won't be here. Um, I guess not. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah Let's Paul, talk about that. Yeah, Paul has spoken to, I think, the realtor. I've been talking to the installer. You know, the buyers of that property are looking to potentially uh, change the installation. So, you know, any changes would have to go through the engineer first. And then be, be by basically, yeah, major changes. Basically, would be a new hearing, though, because it's uh, not necessarily a new we hearing. Vote, we voted on it, though, correct? Right, yeah, but well, if the variances haven't changed, I think the board's respected the hearing that was held. Correct. I mean, if they're triggering new variances, then that's correct. Right. Right. And I had okay. probably an hour long conversation mm -hmm. with the um, realtor today. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Good for you. Um, <laughs> I've seen a lot of action over there, Paul. No, it's your relative that I talked to. No, no, don't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying I've seen a lot of people in there and I was um, like, I could see And I understand the situation, but it really boils down to uh, the current owner, the potential future owners, and the engineer to work this out. And um, that's basically, after an hour, that's what I said, you yeah. know. Um, I understand the issue. I think there was some poor communication yeah. or lack of understanding in terms of what was going to happen visually, physically, and um, with the people that um, want, want to buy the house were, were desperate to get into Berlin, just the backstory. They have three school. children, yeah. two of them are here in school choice, and they could not get the third one in school choice, so they need to move to Berlin to get the third uh, third child in the Berlin school systems. Um, so they jumped at the chance for this house, and um, everything was fine until reality started to set in in terms of what a presby will do to the backyard. And actually that's causing upset oh, right but it's actually we we, we gave them um, I don't know but we their precedent setting at that um, that footage right Paul uh, we mm -hmm. gave them well on our new reg, regs that was precedent setting they were the first ones for the lower um, on the three foot yeah, yeah. the regs actually mm -hmm. the change in the regs didn't affect that because it's an upgrade with the IEFD by the state so right, right. What Ross did was design at the four feet, which the town required. What the president allows as low as two foot. So that night, the board kind of went middle of the road and said, okay, if you design it at four, we'll let you go to three. Three. And the one that came in at the two was raised. So now three is kind of the understood offset accepted by the town for a president on that grade. Now, what's But there's that? another technology that's available that oh, never okay. came to the okay. forefront. Okay. Right. This map, uh, field map. So oh. But that never. Came about, yeah. Came about. So that's a redesign, but uh, did they go with the barrier to, to say? To well, the initial or? plan had a wall with a barrier. Right. The second plan had the barn being removed with grading the right. code. And what we've got is a barn with a barrier next to it. Oh, there is a barrier. Right up to a it. barrier adhered to the barn. Yeah, but the barrier is in place. I Against didn't think it was. Oh, jeez. So the engineer and I, I talked kind of today, and it may be acceptable, but we have to talk to the uh, installer to see. Yeah, yeah and I, I think I'd also right. want the building inspector's take on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not a pristine no. barn by any stretch. Oh, no, no, not at all. But they were trying to, originally it was going to go, I think. And then they no, originally it was kept with the wall, then the second plan had removed. Yeah, when they redesigned with the three yeah. foot, yeah. they had removed and just spanning the three ones. Yeah. Right. But, but that, they're that only catching yeah. a foot, right. foot and a half, right. but still it needs to be needs to oh, right. Yeah. But so, the engineer seems to think that it was done, you know, it was allowed if it was done properly. And to be tweaked a little. Yeah. Yep. How it was, how it was, it was keyed into it. Okay. So, I mean, uh, that's basically so the end of the we conversation. Heard the end of it. <laughs> right, we haven't heard the it's end fine. of it. Okay. And uh, the prospective buyers, the prospective and, uh, sellers, the realtor, and the engineer need to have a meeting of the minds. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. And That's then we'll end up with yep. whatever. That's why I stayed out of it. Um, 
Yeah, they didn't so he? Was, uh, they asked everybody there, and I yeah. just said, mm -hmm. I think they got enough people there, Paul. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so the only um, other item is, um, there's a new lot the board approved Whitney Street, Lot 1. Oh, yeah. You know, street number 5. Oh, yeah, way down there, yeah. So basically, um, this, this is the approved plan. Yeah. It, oh. was, it was submitted before the regs were changed. Okay. So with the change the town has made with Office to Foundation, the, the owner <laughs> does want to have this plan redesigned. Um, okay. But the question is, um, it was designed on a five-foot groundwater offset because that's what the town Yeah. Had. In the state code, four foot groundwater is required if you have a slower than two minute park. Five foot is required if you have a fast park, a two minute park. Well, that's gravel. This, that, that's the issue at hand. So the, the, the engineer said, gee, can I drop it to four feet um, along with the changes in the tank location because there's a mixture of perks here. So what I've taken is a red pen. We've got, right here, we've got seven two-minute perks on the lot. Okay. We have a five, a six, and two seven. So the We're, question is, you know, it's designed on a seven, which is slower yeah. than two, but yet predominantly the perks have been two. So I said, you know, the board meets tonight. Let me see right. what they think is, about is the system, five or redesign. Is the, the system board. in predominantly what, Billy? Well, there's your, all these red numbers. So there's, okay. there's okay. a seven, seven, two, two, yeah. two. Six, this is the one that matters, right? Two, 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 five. Surrounded by twos. This is, yeah. Your twos are all right here, and then you've got a five, six, and okay. two, seven. Are they looking to right switch here. to a Presby bill? No, it's a geomat. It's a, oh, ge that is so the one. So it's not the IA that's in question. It's, can they go with the four-foot offset or just retain the five that it's already currently designed at? Because, again, it was designed at a five. With the geo? So that's the, yeah. That's what the town required. Right, no what the right. Was. Now it's four. So, so again, it's kind of um, I, it's a judgment call as yeah. far as the first part of I, go. Uh, with the new geomat at at four, I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, not, you know, that's my thought. You know, being a better system, correct? As we're talking. Well, you just said the state still requires. Five. Well, the state requires five and two minutes soil. But again, with the geo, they're. Um, well, again, it doesn't matter what the system is, whether it's conventional or IA, because this is a new lot. Okay. So it's a two-minute per and a five-foot offset. I'm wrong. But, again, you know, they're designing on a seven because we that's the slowest per, but right. th there's certainly a predominance of two-minute material in there. I don't think designing on the seven is appropriate for the location. Of the well, with the absorption, price. yeah, with the absorption area. Well, see, I guess they, um, hmm. I guess they had one five within the reserve area. So our regs require that the, the slowest per govern the design of both primary oh. reserves. That's kind of a good point, though, because, you know, here's a six and here's a five. Oh wow! Yeah, they're kind of on the outskirts. Yeah. And here's one, two, three, well, four, five, two. Three quarters right of it. Yeah. yeah. Boy, that is kind of tricky. Huh? So you could go. You know, you wouldn't be wrong with either decision, but okay. I felt. The board should probably wait. Yeah. I didn't want to tell him that to go either way. No. Uh, <laughs> that is like cut in half, isn't it? Almost. <laughs> well, basically, yeah. there's your. Yeah, three quarters. Yeah. There's seven twos. The majority of it's in the twos. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, that's the black and white of it. Right. Well, if they just took this whole thing and moved it. Well, over as a he bit. said, if they moved it to the. If they moved it to the. And infringe on the property. Well, the, the, well, the reserve system. Right, the system's where it is because the grading has oh, to yeah. work on the house. You know, it's going to be like, you yeah. don't want to say an island, but right. you know, the further that system gets away from the house, yeah. the more fill and grading. If they went to the reserve system, Billy, would it be more. In same situation. This is same situation. No, okay. it'd actually yep. be creating a breakout mound. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. The house. oh, I see. So I you see. can see yes. the, um, this is the breakout. That's the, oh, okay. the breakout slope. So that oh, here it is. Would be oh, here it is, the breakout, yeah. Yep. And then this is the final break, right? That future breakout. The end of the day, the question is four to five. Well, five to four. Right. Yes. Well, personally, with that many twos and with just the five and six there, I think the two should rule the day. Yep. With the absorption. That's kind of how yeah. I feel, yeah. but I wanted I to. I think so. 
see if the board agreed. Well, that's yeah, General Holt's so absorption really system is right in twos, right, Billy? I would say the majority is, because again, your five and, and your six yes. are here. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much at the end of your so, system. So, yes. I mean, if you broke it down in no. square footage or something like that, the majority is... It is, definitely. Two, so. Well, yeah. more than the majority, yeah. Well, if you look at the footprint of the primary, mm -hmm. Technically, 100% of it's in two minutes. Well, there you go. Two minutes All right, yeah. that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I we think should stick with what we built. That's black yeah. and white enough for me. Yeah. All right, well, me I don't too. know. Like Thank I said, you. they will make some adjustments to the plan based on the rate changes, but keep it at time. Uh, right. Keep it at time. Have a couple of things before we get to the session. Okay. I have one. Bill, uh, do you have anything else for us? Because we didn't cut your loose. Nope, I'm going to sit down and make sure all these CCs get to where they need to go. And okay. Paul will let you know once I have um, the uh, 263 West Street letter in the 16 Delphi letter. Okay. Yeah. We'll get those handled as quick as possible. You're free. Yeah, yeah. Free from this table. I'll be in that office. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have, I'll do my one thing I can report. Yep. I, um, I took those uh, transfer station oh. receipt books. Yeah. And Thank I you. brought them back to Clinton Offset today. And uh, Joe Jr. was back on the job. He had Legionnaire's pneumonia. Was there a mess up in those systems? Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and apparently he died as they were life lighting him to do that. Oh, wow. So he's back on his feet. He said, I, sh I just showed him what, I said the first book was fine. Yeah. I said, but these are kind of unusable, but we wanted you to get it back on your feet. And he said he would have them redone and back to us by the end of the week. And could he give us a statement for June uh, or something when we get him a statement for June so she's covering no, her about No, no, we already paid for it. I know that, but her, uh, with her worrying about the, the problems that were there, doesn't she need a statement to cover her budget or no. the, the numbers? No. no. Okay, that's fine then. Because he's just going to remake them. Okay, they haven't been sold yet though. No, no, these are these are new these books. These are the receipt books. Okay, okay. I thought it, I thought it was not uh, receipts. I thought they were already gone out. Okay. The receipt no. books. Perfect. So we caught them before, huh? No. These books were not ever used because they weren't printed properly. Yes. That's all. Yeah, awesome. Okay, but all the numbers are okay now, and they went out okay. The receipts that we have given out. No, these, these are the can I? Can I? Can I? Right, can I yeah. Yeah. So these none of them have. Have we? We haven't used any. No. 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 Oh, okay, that's fine. Then. Uh, I thought we'd. She'd got it to where we had used them, and no. they're off. No. Um, no, 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 no. She, no, you know, we wouldn't be able to reprint that. Uh, any well, yeah. even the auditors, you know, wouldn't unless we had a letter. Is all yeah. I was yeah, thinking. No, no, so, no. I'm, I'm sorry. No, yeah. that's okay. All right. A um, couple general things. Uh, I talked to Fred Cummings and asked him to put some timbers or old concrete guardrail posts underneath the um, tire container because it's sitting on the ground and sitting on the ground it's just going to rust away. So I yep. um, should have thought of this a long time ago, right. but he said he would take care of that so oh, at least he'll be airflow and uh, the container, uh, any uh, uh, deterioration will be slowed down. Um, with the DEP mattress thing and textile thing, we're going to have to update our signage at the transfer station, so oh, yeah. I will work on that and get a price uh, on doing that. Um, I talked to Fred about um, reinstalling or installing new 
pipes and chains around the metal container because there's yeah. basically no protection to keep any, somebody from falling into the container. And he said that that was something they can do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure on the pipe whether we will have to come up with that or yeah. whether they can, but they, he told me today that they could uh, uh, drill the holes. Um, Terrific. That's good, Paul. The, and I also talked to Framingham Salvage today because one of the things I've noticed with the metal container is that there's so much debris, metal debris, on three sides of that container that the container can't be located close to a wall or all the way back. And um, what I propose, and I need to get clarification from our TA or whatever, that um, next time Framingham Salvage hauls the container, when they, uh, what they do is they do a swap out. They bring an empty, yes, okay, and just have them line it up with where it goes. But I propose that uh, we spend some of our part-time um, help money and have those guys um, clean up all of the, the, the metal that is on the ground interfering with the container. Highway or salvage? What? Highway or salvage, Paul? You mean salvage people have them? No. no. Transfer have our station. transfer station Oh, yes. People. Oh, definitely. Yeah. No, thank you. Fred said he would do it, no. but I don't, no. I don't think not, that should be It's not their job. Right. Um, can I talk to Fred, and yep. uh, they'd be able to push the container back in place when we get it cleaned up. Terrific. I just need to find out if I can go directly to our part-time help, or do I need to go to repeat? Things are a little muddy there, and we'll yeah. get into that okay. um, later. Yep. So that's, that's in the works. Um, that's something that needs to be cleaned up. And um, litter to one one well that's different. You know, we gotta we gotta separate separate all this. I'm yeah. just dealing with the metal container. The trash around the compactors is a whole other story. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm I'm not prepared to talk about how to deal with that at this point. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll deal with the metal, the heavy stuff. Deal right? with <laughs> the simple thing first. Um, I hear you. And uh, Fred. And I met with Doug, um, not Doug Crossman, Larry Crossman, yep. about the washout issues through the wall. Yep. And Larry has brought in somebody else to consult with him, so I don't have an answer on that. But okay. uh, that's definitely uh, a fairly major project that's going to have to happen down yeah. there because uh, it's. Band-Aids don't work. We've we'll tried that. Very and, reputable, Larry. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. I mean, um, yep. if anybody can get it done, he can. Yep. So, um, Spectrum. Oh, yeah. Spectrum. Uh, after weeks of trying in multiple individuals, I actually got a call from somebody at Spectrum today um, about running cable into the transfer station. And um, he's going to send me information. So what I say may not be, hopefully it jives with what I received, but I'm not sure. He basically sounded like there wouldn't be any cost to the town to extend the cable line, and that they actually um, would provide and install the cameras we want at the transfer station, and it would just be a simply line item monthly fee. And okay. Yeah, I don't know if they're compatible. Yeah, she's bought a setup, but I don't know if it's compatible with Spectrum, but still. So, well, um, the, the reason I'm clapping my hands is after talking to like six or eight people, somebody actually called me. So, um, yeah. 
he's going to do a survey and he's going to get back to me uh, about how to move forward and whatever costs are involved. Wasn't so, there something in the original contract that town buildings were would be uh, hooked up? I have up no idea. Originally, to you know, for for free. When you say original contract, oh, that's years ago. Yeah, I know. I hear right. you know. Okay. Do we I'm have old. any Sorry, gen more general items? Uh, no. Okay. What do you think? Then I think uh, this will be the closing of our regular business meeting. Our lovely cable guy. Do we have to vote for the vote on this? No, because we're going. It, uh, I had posted we were going to go into executive session. So this is the end of meeting. So we Excuse adjourn. Me, cable we're going to adjourn this. Right? We're going into executive session. So. so